What's going on guys? It's John from Behind the Diamond. Welcome back to my channel. All right, this is another pickup video. I've been picking up a lot of stuff lately. Uh, I actually picked up a big, huge 150 piece uh, action figure deal uh, from my buddy Jack at the Wrestling Universe store. Thanks a lot, man, for that. Uh, it was like a lot of Marvel Legends, some McFarlane's, some Ghostbusters, G.I. Joe's, The Simpsons, but mostly Marvel Legends, which I love. All right, because, you know, I do comics, toys, and cards. Uh, I was just at a comic show, too. Uh, which I didn't, I didn't tape, I didn't, I didn't put up on YouTube or anything like that. But I did sell about 15 slabs, which is pretty cool. Move, move a couple of my books, which I really don't. But uh, other than that, I've been very busy picking up some sports cards and non-sports cards. I picked up a lot of stuff at my show in Babylon. And guys, thanks a lot for supporting Babylon because it's been, it's been insane. 400, about 400 to 500 people come to support the show. Dealers are consistently there. Uh, they have fun. It's just it's just an awesome show. So make sure you guys come down. Uh, the dealers will give you a, such a great deal. All right, so let's get to it because I've been very, very busy. These This is a pretty good haul of stuff. I think you guys are going to like it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Peace out. Let's go. All right, we'll start off with this. Uh, this is just a, a loan card that I picked up, a Beau Bichette. Two color uh, jersey, number to two ninety nine museum collection. I picked this up for forty bucks. It's pretty simple. I think it goes for about fifty five dollars. So if I sell it, I'll probably make about fifteen bucks on this. This I picked up from one of my dealers, a Mickey Mantle uh, National Treasures, number to twenty five game gear with a little bit of a stripe. Uh, two jersey here. Uh, I picked this up for seventy dollars. It goes about a hundred, a hundred and twenty. You know, if anything, if I if I sell it, probably sell it for you know, a hundred to one hundred and twenty dollars. All right, that's a pretty good pickup there. One of my dealers, thanks a lot for that. All right, these two I picked up from uh, one of my dealers too. A Dave Winfield number to fifty at a Topps Chrome Black, and a John Smoltz number to ninety nine. Fifty bucks for the pair. You can't go wrong with that. Twenty five each or whatever you're gonna do. I mean, if even if they're forty dollar cards, it's still it's still a good deal. Two Hall of Famous, a Yankee, one of the best uh, Atlanta pitches of all time, right? So that's pretty cool there. All right. Uh, let me go with this. A uh, Don Manningly Topps Chrome Black. I got this in a trade from one of my dealers. Uh, so I'm into this for about 40 bucks, uh, maybe 35 bucks. Uh, I gave him a Pete Alonzo and he gave me some cash. And this card. So it was a pretty cool trade. I'm into it for about 35 bucks. I probably can get $60 for this if I uh, end up selling it. But I can just add this to my Manningly collection. So that's pretty cool. Thanks, Chris, for that. All right. This I picked up from another dealer at the show. Uh, my buddy Ralph. A nice Don Manningly two-stripe jersey auto number to 35. That's just a sick card. I'll just add that to my Manningly uh, collection. I think I paid. I think I paid one hundred and twenty bucks for this. I paid a little high on it, but I, I wanted it, so I'll just add it to my collection. Just a really cool card. All right, this is pretty cool here. I'm into this Mickey Mantle nineteen sixty seven PSA four for about two hundred bucks. It goes, you know, it, it varies too, depending on centering. This one's a little off, but the coloring is really good on the back and the front. All right, so, you know, they go between 250 to 350 So I got a good deal. I mean, it's a Mickey Mantle, so for 200 bucks, you can't go wrong. So that's pretty cool there. All right, I picked this up at Babylon. These three slabs for $85, and I think I gave... Uh, I think I gave him a Goose Gossage autograph, number 250. Uh, so, and I gave him $85 cash. A Warren Spahn, 1963, PSA 5. A Al Kaline, 1957, SGC 3. An Eddie Matthews, SGC 4.5, 1957. All this for $85 and a Goose Gossage. I think I got a really good deal on that. Three easy cards to move. One of the best left-handed pitches of all time. One of the best. Got Al Kaline and Ed Matthews, which who's really underrated. 
but that's pretty cool there. All right, I pick this up, a local deal around my neighborhood, another Don Manningly, number to 75 auto, an Andy Pettit clinchers, which is pretty cool, number to 27 out of triple threads, and a Devers number to 149. I picked the three up for $120. So I'm figuring that this goes for about 40. This goes for about 50 to 60. And I'll be into the Manningly for only about $20. And the Manningly is probably about an $80 card. So I'll do that all day long. $120 for these three. Pretty good deal. All right. So let me go with this. This deal here was $110. Nothing crazy, but I just I just like the cards here. All right. A Vince Carter jersey card, a Dwayne Wade jersey, two Steve Nash, a Tom Seaver jersey with the stripe, game used, awesome card, an Isaiah Thomas Revolution Auto, and this immaculate four-piece, Lawrence Taylor, Bruce Smith, Jack Lambert, Champ Bailey. Three color patches on both of those. Just a cool card right there. And a Paul Molitor auto. So I picked all this up for $110. I think I can get about $60 bucks for this. So I'm into everything else for $50. Maybe $30 bucks on that. $40 bucks on that. And $15 on this. And maybe $5 each on these. So I'm definitely going to make money. It might take some time, but that's how I do it. And it's more inventory added to my boxes too. So that's that. All right. This I picked up from a guy that was walking around the Babylon show. A Robin Yount rookie. This is really cool. A Derek Jeter Bowman's Best Atomic Refractor. And a Best Performers Bowman's Best Derek Jeter number to 400. I pick this up for an even $100. This card alone goes for $115. Now I'm into these for nothing. So it was a really good deal. Thanks a lot for that. And I got an, a, a Robin Yount rookie card that I needed. So that's pretty cool. All right. This I picked up from my buddy, uh, Joseph uh, Fiera Sports on Instagram. All right, I do deals with him all the time. He's he's a cool guy. He's got everything that I want. A lot of Yankee stuff, a lot of older game used stuff that I like from Prime, from Prime Cuts, from Upper Deck products and stuff like that. So I picked this up for ninety dollars. This is just a cool card right here, an Upper Deck UD Premier. This was one of my favorite sets of all time. Manningly, Reggie Jackson, Thurman Munson, NYY right there, number to 50, just a cool card. A Roy Campanella, Prime Cuts from 2004, dual jersey, number to 25. And a Roger Hornsby, UD Premier, MVP, those old jerseys right there, just an awesome piece, number to 75. So I picked this up for $90. And then I also bought this off of him for $150. Three Willie Mays pieces, which I wanted uh, from Prime Cuts 2005 and 2000, uh, 2005 here. The timelines. Says Mays. We got a bat jersey with a little bit of a stripe. Another bat jersey right there. In a Mets uniform, number to 50. This one's a dual bat jersey with a little stripe in a Mets uniform. Number to 25. And this is just so cool. Say hey right there in a Giants uniform. Number uh number 250, 26 of 50, prime cuts 2005. Sick card right there. That was 150 bucks. So I'm into these, I'm into these cards here for a total of about $240. And I think I can probably get about 80 bucks for this, $75 for this. Maybe 50 bucks for this. And there you go. Everything else I get to keep. All right. So that's that. That's pretty cool. All right. This I picked up from my buddy Freddie at the Babylon show. This was $305. All these cards here. 
I think it was a pretty good deal. Uh, Freddie's starting to collect a uh, Hall of Fame autograph, so I've been buying off of him a lot. All right. Uh, so we got a Robin Yount, Top Skull label, number the 40, a John Stockton auto out of 79, a Mike Schmidt, gold, Top's finest, auto out of 50, a David Ortiz auto out of 50, a Phil Rizzuto on card, Dunruss Classics. 2001 auto and a Tommy Hendricks, which he's not in the Hall of Fame, but a Yankee with the pinstripes. Nice, cool jersey there out of an upper deck product. So all this was $305. Just a cool card. This is a little bit over about 100, probably 120. This is probably about 75. This is about 85. This is about 75. This is about 40. And this is about 40. So I think I got a really good deal. And I got some new product to add to my collection right there. All right. This deal here was pretty cool. I didn't pick this up in Babylon. I picked this up at a, a from a local guy in, in my neighborhood. Uh, he had some really cool stuff. So I picked this stuff up. All right. Everything was 850 bucks. This whole lot here. And I'll show you. I'll show you the, the non-sports cards first. This is just pretty cool. This is a 1962 Dutch gum Elvis Presley hand cut card. PSA 6. Sick. Just love him. You guys know I love Elvis. It's just an, he's just uh, one of the best right there. So got that. This here. 1987 Panini Smash Hits. A PSA 8. Just a cool photo right there. And a Roy Orbison. Mr. Softy, top 10, 1965, PSA 8. Awesome. Saying, you got it. Pretty woman, tons of hits. Just a cool piece, because I love music. So this was added to this right here, all for $850. And these are the sports cards. Don Drysdale, PSA 5, 1967. A Yaz, 1966, PSA 4. A Brooks Robinson, 1958. We got an, a 1967 Ernie Banks, PSA 6. That's nice centering there. Cool card. A uh, Johnny Padre, Sandy Koufax, 1961 Southpaws, 4.5. A Roy Campanella, 1957 Tops, PSA 5. A Yaz, 1968, PSA 6. A Pete Rose, 1967 Tops, PSA 4. A Jim Palmer rookie, PSA 3, 1966. A Roger Maris, 1966, PSA 4. This is pretty cool. A Brooks Robinson, 1969, PSA 7. A Roberto Clemente, PSA 5, 1969. Another Yaz, SGC 4.5. And a Mickey Mantle, 1966, SGC, 3.5, cool card. And an Al Kaline, SGC 5, 1959 tops. So I picked all this up for $850. I think alone this Mickey Mantle goes for about $253. So I'm into everything else for about $500. Bucks. That's how I look at it. So let me, I'll break it down really quick. All right. This I could probably get about 50 bucks for. The Pete Rose, I could probably get 70 bucks for. This about 50. This about 50. So that's $200 there. So now I'm into everything else now for 300 bucks. The Clemente is about 125 bucks. The Brooks Robinson's about 65 to 70 because it's a PSA 7. That's almost like 200 there. So now I'm into everything else for 100 and right here, these are probably about $75 each. So now I'm in the uh, green 50 bucks, and I have all this stuff here. Ernie Banks, Brooks Robinson, you got the Yaz, the Drysdale, you got the Roger Maris, the K-Line, the Roy Orbison. So I think I'm going to do pretty good on this deal. Uh, probably make 300 maybe maybe 400 on top of it, probably about 400 on top of it. And that's that.
All right, guys. Thanks for watching. All right. There's going to be plenty more pickup videos. Maybe I'll do a little pickup video of all the uh, action figures that I picked up. Uh, just leave me a comment below if you want to see that. All right. Again, thanks a lot. Make sure you leave a comment on which lot you like the best. Thanks for watching, guys.